Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make your sprites in Scratch not go through walls. This is also known as wall collision. As you can see, we cannot go through this wall at all. And it is very smooth. So let's get right into it. Alrighty, so I have two sprites, one called player, and it is a green square that is centered on the canvas. And then I have a wall, which is literally just some squares and then my backdrop, but that doesn't really matter. So in the player, I want to start by setting up the player movement. So I'll pull out a win green flag, click a forever loop, and I'm going to pull out a bunch of if statements, four to be exact. Then I want to do all of the controls. So that's W, A, S, and D. And if you want to do arrow keys, that's fine. You can do whatever you want, but I am going to do W, A, S, D. So W will go into the first one. S is going to go into the second one. D is going to be going in the third one. And last but not least, A will go into the last. So these are the up, down, right, and left controls. Now I want to make a custom block and name this movement. Make sure to click run screen without refresh here and add a input because the first input is going to be called speed. This is the how fast your player is moving. And then the second input is x slash y. So this is going to be detecting if we're going up or down or right and left, which is x and y. Then I'm going to pull this defined movement block over to the right so I can see it. And I want to go ahead and pull out a movement in the W key. So if you think about it, W and S are both going to be Y. So we're going to put Y in the second block there. So that way our code here knows that we're moving on the Y axis. For W, I want to do three because it's going to be moving positive three in the Y direction. Then for S, it's going to be moving negative three on the Y axis. So then I want to duplicate this and do the same thing, except for the D, it's going to be positive three, but on the X axis. Then for A, it's going to be negative three on the X axis, like that. So with that, I want to pull out an if else statement in the movement here, and I want to do an equal sign. I want to do if X, Y equals to X. So this side is going to be the X movement, this side is going to be the Y movement. Then for the X, I want to do an if statement here, and then a operators not, and then a sensing touching. So if not touching wall, which means we're just normally walking around, then I want to change the X by speed. And the then to make this collision work, I want to do if touching wall change x by speed times negative one. So that's going to move backwards and put that right underneath it. So now our x should be working. As you can see, if we use a to move left and then d to move right, we can do it. And we can't actually go through this wall here, no matter how hard we try. But let's go ahead and do the y axis. So I'll duplicate all the scripts in here. And all we need to do is change these to y. So change y by speed, delete that, and change y by speed times negative one, and put that in the L here. And as you can see now, we can move all up, down, right, and left, but we can't actually go in to the walls. And in case you don't understand it, I want to just kind of explain what this script is doing. So let's say that you are moving up. So that means we are doing if key W. So it's checking if we're pressing the W key. So in my case, I am right now. Then it's going to do the custom movement block. It's going to set the first value to three. And that first value is speed. So it's going to set the speed to three. And and the XY right here is going to be Y. So we're going to move three pixels for speed on the Y axis. Then inside this movement script, it's saying if the XY is equal to X, and if it is equal to X, that means we're moving right and left. So if we're doing W, that means we're you doing Y. So it's going to automatically go to the else state. And then it's going to say, if we're not touching the wall, which we aren't right now, then just change the Y by the speed. So however we, much we put in the speed is going to change the Y by. If we do like 15, there you go. As you can see, it moves faster up. Then if it's saying if touching the wall, then change Y by speed times negative one. So whatever this number is, which is 15, it's going to do 15 times negative one, which would be negative 15. So change it perfectly by the opposite of whatever we're moving, which counters our movement. So it's basically just the same for all of the other keys. Now you may be wondering, can I use this on a scrolling project? And the answer is yes. So I have two variables, scroll X and scroll Y. So I'm going to put the scroll X and scroll Y 
Y there, and then a go to zero, zero in the bottom here. Then I'll go ahead and do X position, Y position, and then two times blocks, and do negative one, and then duplicate it, and do X position times negative one, and Y position times negative one, and do the scroll Y for Y position, and scroll X for X position. So that's a little scrolling algorithm there. And then for the wall, I will do a win green flag click ever loop, go to block, and just do go to scroll X and scroll Y. So that right there is just a simple scrolling algorithm. As you can see, now this game is scrolling, but the wall collision still works. We can't go in the wall. Everything still works awesome. So I hope this helped you for maybe your top-down RPGs, whatever you may be doing. And if you did enjoy this or maybe it just helped you out, then make sure to hit that like button and consider subscribing. I'd really appreciate it and it would mean a lot to me. But anyways, this has been Owen and I am out.